Do not worry. Well, uh, howdy, everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry. I'm your host, Anthony, joined by the interns, uh, Noor and Karin. How's it going, ladies? It's going. Yeah, you laugh you. Kifna, you were just at an iftar, our Muslim uh, intern. The Muslim <laughs> representation We're on happy. the podcast. Hello, uh, sahla. <laughs> Tell us how how was it? Tell us because we, we have a whole topic about iftars. We uh, enjoyed the series of iftar. Oh, um, today I'm not sure. Honestly, fette. Oh, we had leftover mukhrabiya. Oh, mukhrabiya is always nice. Mukhrabiya is good. Mukhrabiya yeah. is like a S tier. What did the, where did we put mukhrabiya when we did the? I think it was S tier, or like at least A tier. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely S tier. Um, what else? Well, fatou shu shorba, the usual. Mm. Um, ev- anyone who knows me in real life would find it hilarious that I'm the Muslim representation, but here we are. <laughs> hey, we're happy to have you here. We needed it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, either you guys noticed the new intro by uh, Charles Seife. Finally, Nadim is there, folks. Khalas. It's been, it only took a year and a half. Maybe in two, three years, you might find your face <laughs> up, up on that intro. Who knows? But you got to earn it. You know what I mean? Nadim had to wait. I was like, sure, yeah. maybe we should we just add Karin. I was like, no, it would not be fair. It, it needs to be like absurdly late for it to happen. Sah. That's the only way we do it here. You know what I mean? We, we fuck things up. Uh, folks, we're going to be talking about, we got a lot of random things. But no, we're going we're gonna to be talking about the worst crep away ad ever, possibly the worst ad ever made by the the worst social media ad, collaboration, whatever you want to call it, folks. It is unacceptable. But this is where we are with the level of marketing, my TikTok taking over and everything. Uh, we got a bunch of random things to talk about. Okay, yeah, there's a K- Kuki, her cousin, Kuki's cousin. I don't Kuki, you know, you know Kuki on a TikTok. Kuki Udalia. Udalia is her cousin. Her, we I met her cousin on TikTok on a TikTok live once, our first TikTok live. There's a whole singing drama. We got some Joy Tassidis, uh you know, enjoying some iftar and getting canceled online. Uh, Joseph Mirab is uh, building relations with the Chinese. We have a lot of things to discuss. So we're going to get to it. But before we get to that, folks, I just want to welcome two brand new patrons to our family, folks. Uh, two brand new abductee patrons, R.I.P. Kaki and Modern Life Monk. Welcome. R.I.P. Kaki and is commemorating uh, Kaki. You know Thank what I mean? You. He'll never die. Kaki, you know what I mean? To, uh, to live in the hearts we leave behind is to never die. Remember that, folks. And Kaki certainly lives in my heart and especially in Nuhu's heart. Uh, you love them the most out of all of us. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for joining our Patreon and supporting this little independent YouTube channel. We can't do this without you. And let me take a second to thank. We're going to start with the got your patrons, folks. Finally. <laughs> our amazing patrons. We're gonna, everything takes a long time to happen here. Kilshi, you know, we, uh, we adapt, you know. F- <laughs> merch, yalla, in six years, we'll see, we'll find, we'll get merch eventually. Got your patrons, like Rifat Fakir, folks. Burgery, Eli Al Mujabbar, El Captain, Jessica Ann, Raj, and Jack Sleeman. Uh, we love you guys, and our, our got your patrons are our VVVIPs, uh, Yanni. They, they, they give our, they are the sales to our ship. But we also have our amazing superhero patrons who are also the sales to our ship. Slightly smaller sales. Uh, <laughs> amazing patrons like Mustafa Wehbe, Meher Krikorian, uh, Mo Hariri, Joey Dabul, Dr. William Watt for the boobs doctor, Rami Gharib, and beautiful blonde patrons, folks, like Antonio Jmeyel, Malik UX, Marianne S. Falefil Brain, Hagop Lalong, and Joy Tassidis, it's only fair. And Luai Tfaili, thank you guys so much. We love you. We love you. If you guys would like to support this independent YouTube channel, check out our Patreon. Find a tier that's right for you. And this episode is brought to you by folks, the lovely folks at 16mm Bar in Jamaica. If you guys want to get some free drinks, April 4th, your time is running out. So we'll keep watching this episode to find out how you can take advantage of an amazing, wonderful deal with 16mm. We love them. Uh, so thank you for sponsoring this episode. And with that, we can uh, get moving. What do you guys think of live sketch comedy? Good in moderation. I've never been to one. Blibnan. So I got invited over this weekend to uh, to a show. It, it wasn't improv, not improv. It's like sketches. It's called Elif Badunis. Okay, and let me let me read you guys the, the name of the talent. It was very nice for the invitation. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, the cast were uh, Iyad Lhout, Hout, perfect last name. Uh, <laughs> Eliana Mata, Ali Hamade, and Jalal Ash'ar. Kind of like absurd sketches, very weird humor. You know what I mean? Like my fa- hey, look, they gave me a plus one. Uh, it wasn't, I was going to have you guys fighting over who was going to join me. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe if they're watching this, they'll send you guys some invitations. But it's like, for example, to give you guys an idea of the humor, my favorite sketch that they did was like a guy listening to an instructional uh, v- cassette on how to masturbate, basically. So if you guys are into that, 
Oh, hey, enjoy. this is the show for you. Uh, it was very funny. Like it was kind of a full house. People seemed to have a lot of fun. And, and I just, like I but Zakir, you know, the cast about and she can do sketch comedy, but casino du Liban, shit like that. You know, what I mean, it's nice to see a young group of talented people. You know what I mean, doing the stuff. Uh, uh, it's interesting. So if you guys want to check it out and support him, thank you guys. I didn't take any pictures of the show because you know, like I'm used to not taking pictures during like uh, comedy shows. It's just I don't think you're supposed to. Yeah. So no, no, I saw people then posting pictures, and I didn't. I'm sorry. But so no, it's a very fun show. If you guys would like to check it out, support some local art, the local art scene. Elif Badunas, check them out. Thank you for the invite, boys and girls. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, another quick thing, I just want to talk about the Asseria, folks. You guys know I've been training, uh, training hard in boxing for a year. And I'm never going to compete because, uh, you know, I'm too old for that shit. And I, I do not want to get concussions. They're not fun. I've had one. Did not enjoy it, but I've been, you guys saw, if you guys saw the Joseph Mera documentary, as you all should, you saw my coach's nephew, Ryan Khoury, a badass young boxer, he's only 18, he just had his pro fight debut in Australia, he lives in Australia, and he got the dub, folks, here's a couple of moments, check him out, knock him down, so Ryan's got the, the pro, Make this crowd's gonna hit him with a good body shot. Yes! 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 Pop him out. Like, this guy's a monster. He's only 18. First pro debut. You know what I mean? Only pro debut. You only get to do it once. Very important that you win your pro debut, and he did it amazingly. Won by unanimous decision. Knocked him down three times. We watched, we all got together at the gym in the morning. Watched it. Uh, very proud of you, Ryan. Very amazing. Uh, and look at that photo right here, just uh, quick. Again, only 18, folks. Look at that little monster. Look at that big monster. What, what do I mean, little, man? That's nice. Look at that. It's crazy. So making us proud over there in Australia. Ooh, uh, fucking amazing. Quick, quick, uh, random thing. Hello, like, I just saw it on Twitter. There's a huge bridge that collapsed in Baltimore. If you guys are wondering why I care, I was born in Baltimore, folks. I've probably been on that bridge at least a few times. Uh, the key bridge, it's like a massive bridge. It was hit by a ship. It was just really weird, like just very random. Uh, check it out. Let's watch some of that footage. We rarely get, uh, you know, breaking uh, bridge footage, guys. It's, this stuff is uh, it's important. It's important, it's important to look at. <laughs> so here, I know it's kind of crazy. It's a mass. It's a massive bridge. You really like. It is a massive bridge. There's another video that will give you guys some context mm -hmm. about just how big it is. So here's the ship. <laughs> Apparently, the ship was losing power. Bro, this is like a whole ass bridge. Like, think of like the Brooklyn Bridge, like be New York, and it's a fucking one you can't tell scale, really. You know what I mean? When did this happen? Like, ten hours ago or some shit. Uh, like, it was in the early morning. I guess so. Yeah. Oh yeah, mass. This is a mass casualty event. Oh. It's like, there's a bunch of people on that bridge. It's fucking crazy. So, oh, so this is another angle. I wanted to know what the bang was. Ship hit the key bridge, sinking. The bridge is gone. Yeah, okay, so this video. Holy right hell. This video right here is going to give you guys some context, just like the size of the, the scale of this bridge. Like, this is by all means. It's a big bridge. It's a regular big ass bridge. Four lanes. Uh. Massive. And I've been on the sand multiple times, of course, as a baby when I was probably coming back from being born in my father's <laughs> arms. I'm glad you survived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's like the story of Mark Wahlberg, who was almost on the 9-11 plane, but he had to cancel because of, a, you know what I mean, like an emergency or something. Like, this could have been me. <laughs> this could have been me. And I've definitely been to Baltimore within like five years. At least I had to, maybe on the way to like New York or something, you stop by there or some shit. I think you passed by Baltimore. I can't remember. Anyways, my life was in danger. I'm glad I made it out alive. We have one more version of it, one more <laughs> angle. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like this doesn't involve me? I was born in Baltimore. These are my people, Noor. And, and I'm upset that I lost Baltimoreans. <laughs> Let us play. <laughs> so this is showing you how the ship is like losing power. I'm not sure how interesting this is, but let's skip to where the collision happens. Oh, <laughs> god damn. <laughs> Look, it's not funny at all. Yeah, this is not funny, guys. I don't know why I'm laughing. You know this is I mean? so scary. Very scary. It's just, you know, we're shooting a podcast. The cameras are on. The, the ring lights. They say under the lights. It's stressful. But, yeah. Because I don't know what to say. I don't know what happened to that ship. You know what I mean? It's bad. It's bad. All right. We're moving on to the next topic, folks. I'm not going to say any more things about this sinking sh 
this this ship. This was horrible. <laughs> 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 this was an office segment. <laughs> We're keeping the segment. We got the show must go on. <laughs> okay, okay. It is what it is. Our boy Joseph, you know what I mean? The legend, the one and only. Honestly, some of the cutest videos I've seen in a long time on social media. And to say that these things are wholesome is an understatement. Now, this is Joseph with a a uh, Chinese ping pong player. So Joseph, if you don't know, again, if you haven't seen the the, comp the the documentary, you know that Joseph is a ping pong referee. You know, he's a official, like, uh, licensed referee for Kitschifi, official ping pong matches. Joseph, how come? So honey, he's hanging out with a renowned Chinese ping pong player. This is a uh, that's so cool. So the, so, the so the Chinese lady actually said like like when she when she did that she was saying and if you go down to the comments it's a bunch of like funny stuff is it this comment right here it made me laugh the most I'm gonna put keep it here. Sarfi ilakat bein lebnein was seen abel matenza GTA six. Joseph Mirab answers that he's seen fi taawun bein lebaladein, but the end word is not clear. He's talking about GTA six. Would I be better? Would be better if life could be lived like that? Amen. So then someone else like is explaining to Joseph Shani GTA six. We do GTA six. Hey, lab electronie. I just love like so cute. like it's so cute. Like we're explaining to Joseph like what GTA six is. What's and the meme. And, and they're not making fun of him like he's he's uh, like they're being very um yeah like hick earnest in, in their answer and then he's got a bunch of videos with like every i think there's like a tournament going on a ping pong tournament and be so with videos with every international referee that he's finding and like he's just so happy to see him around like friends and people that he likes so he feels like a little boy Anjad, like he's like a little happy boy hanging out with friends uh, so sweet <laughs> <laughs> I love how the guy's just like looking down. It's like, yeah, man. It's so this is just so wholesome and cute. I don't know. This is this is we're gonna have like six of these to watch, folks. If you're not into this, skip to the next one. Where is this guy from? Ahmed Abbas from the Iraq, the Habib. <laughs> Where did he post these? Uh, Instagram, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. Man, I love seeing him happy. Andrew. Such a sweet man. Oh, he's hanging out with like a bunch of people. It's so rare for me to see this, you know what I mean? So he actually got mad at them. You can tell this when they start clapping. He, yeah, he smiles. <laughs> he's he's okay. See, so he actually, hey, <laughs> Mashwa. It doesn't. If you fuck up the video, you know. Yeah, but do I do? Maybe have have a turkey. Maybe have. Okay. Oh, one more, folks. This one is cute because he literally calls them his friends. Andre, this like this touches my heart. This is so cute. It's so sweet. I love Joseph. That's cute. Everybody, go send Joseph some love in the comments. Cookie Nechle. So she, we, we've talked about her like over the last three years. My she, she, she has the bonjour, come, bonjour, come, like the weird. Her and her mom. Eh. She's this weird, cringy. Now there's just this thing with her cousin now. Her cousin apparently has been trying to sing. Did you find any more videos of her singing? Yeah, on the TikTok? I sent you. Oh yes, yes, there they are. Uh, so yeah, so we got a bunch of of videos and the situation happening here between the cousins. So first. the cousin that's the one. So, so here, this is the first time I ever heard of Kuki. So she, of Dalia. So this is Dalia, her cousin. So this is Kuki's cousin, who I randomly entered with a live chat on a TikTok once, and I thought she was an older woman. I called her tante. Here's the video. She got very mad at me. It's nice to meet you. 
Bonsoir, tante. Tante, bye. Bonsoir. Comment tante, bye, on a un chute. Je vais te dire que je suis tante, tiens. Rahat, garde-moi quand même. <laughs> like TikTok Live is such a shit show, bro. Like, How old is she? Ma, that's what I'm saying. No, Anda will lead by the end. Anda, yeah. It's a bit weird. So she could be a tante, yeah. My bad, and I really don't know anything about it. But anyway, so this first we get this video. Nur te batlie on the WhatsApp group, kind of of Kuki, kind of yelling at Dalia and I'm telling her that you can't sing. We're making fun of Dalia's voice. But we're gonna wait and, and see how what Dalia sounds like a little later. We're gonna wait. So now let's see. لا ما تقصص وما تضحك ما تحسسني انه هي عم تتمزهل علي بطريقتها هيدا تمسخر ولو انتم ما نحن قلنا لك انه انه صوتك مش خارج غني ليه بتغنى هاد مسخرة لك انه زلمة صوتك مش حلو هي ما بدها تقول لك صوتك مش حلو عرفت كيف؟ كرمال هيك كرمال هيك صارت اوكي يا ملي ما اعرف خلص ما تحكي معي This is she's her aunt داليا عمتها لكوكي Well, uh, no, Khalita. Oh, Khalita. Khalita. And, and, and Kuki, like, you know, for, you know, she has the worst voice on the planet, so it's like ironic. And you know, Kuki's like, hey, so, think, so like, your voice sucks. Mm. Like, coming from Kuki, that's like extra offensive. You know what I mean? Like, when Kuki tells you you have a shitty voice, uh, it's like, God damn, yeah. And now, Kuki and Ma and someone else, they're going to be on Dalia, who's a friend of the show. I've been on a live with Dalia. We're Team Dalia. Team Dalia. Forever, yeah. So here is Kuki and her mom and some random lady all of them are on the Queen Dahlia She is not sure that she is a good sound but she wants to do it with her She doesn't have anything to do with her She's done She's done I don't want to go I saw you 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 يعني اكيد مش اجي اتمسخ يعني ولو هي ليش دغري فلت لانه ما عندها ثقه بحالها بلا او ماي جاد برو عنجد هيدا اختها اور لايك شيز هير لايك خالد عمد يعني ذس از هير مام لكوكي يعني ذس ذا ميك هير يا هير سيستر ذس هير سيستر شي ستوك شيت اوف هير سيستر شيتينغ اون هير سيستر على تيك توك وذ هير دوتر ذير وات ذس دايلا ساوند لايك ليتس جيف هير تشانس رايت ليتس سي وات شي ساوندز لايك اي نو كان بي ذا باد اي نو فور كوكي واما لكوكي To say that Dalia can't sing, our friend, friend of the show, Dalia. Let's see. <laughs> It's long. <laughs> Where did you find this? Is on your TikTok? She has quite a few. Like, 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 she has a. Elle chante juste, yeah. Not nasty. She's not horrible. And if they were talking to us, it made me think. And she sounds like horrible. horrible. She doesn't sound horrible. She no, sounds. She kinda, sounds fine. She sounds Anno. okay. Yeah, she sounds no. Okay, so. like. Mm. She's not bad. Haram. Yeah. <laughs> they did her dirty. Yeah, let me get some extra lights. But I think she looks way younger in this video. Honestly, mm. she looks. I don't know. Ma, way Anno, younger. It's, it's very weird, Lele, and. I went through her TikTok to find videos of her singing. She has videos and like from the poses or heck. But so her eldest daughter I think is fifteen. Look, everything which is old. We gotta do our research. Let's not we we don't know what's up. Hold it there's some more singing. Let's let's listen to her sing hello. We're not here to talk about her kids. The the music. معقول انساك معقول تنساني انا على طول 
think Not Cookie might have a point. This one's right. <laughs> this one's right. Cookie might have a point. <laughs> She's getting me back. I can't tell where the song is going. Bring the group for improvement. Best I know. If she trains, definitely. Yeah. She needs to find her key. This isn't her song. Maybe if she picks a better song. Th this is the song, I feel. This is the one. This is the final. I think this is going to be the one. Hone is she's going to blow us all away. It's definitely a pitch. <laughs> better key. <laughs> it's an a pitch. Yeah, dare I say? This is Dalia's best performance so far. I think she's uh, kind of killing it, no? No, I still prefer the first, the first one. one. The first sounds better, yeah. I don't know, I think when she tries to go loud, she can't. She, she can't. She can't. Anna, I, just I, really, I really dislike Kuki and her mom, to be honest with you. Yeah, because so they're publicly okay. humiliating their family member. That's fucked. Horrible. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm not alone. That's why we're on jet. Yeah, we're all dumb. Hey, the ring tone, Hamida. Come on, bro. Let her, let her sing. That's what TikTok's for. I'm just I'm just Why don't I just let people do what they want? Laissez-moi danser. Dalida said it the best in 50 years. R.I.P. Cut that out. Laissez-moi. That's it for the kooky stuff. This week is light, al khafif, folks. Next week might be off. Oh, Liam Neeson video. Okay, okay. So I saw this on Twitter. It was very funny. Like the tweet was basically saying like, what's the wildest like moment you saw in like an interview with like an actor or something? And someone was like this one, like you, you don't know where it's going kind of. Like how, like, or what moment kind of shocked you? Like someone said something that you were like, what the fuck? Working about you, you know, those are the best parts. <laughs> I, know, I mean, this, it sounds like an incredible shoot, but there was an earthquake, Julian. That must have been quite terrifying for yourself and all of the cast members. Terrifying. Mm -hmm. I was in a hotel on the 19th floor in the morning, and the building shook. I've been in an earthquake before in L.A. For some reason, it was different. I got under a doorway, because they all say, get under a doorway. And as I was standing there in the room shaking, I thought, this is crazy. So I got my passport, went out into the hallway, and the hallway was going like this. I'm not exaggerating. And there was a little lady dressed in black who was the manageress of that floor. She was knocking on the doors with her clipboard, checking the rooms had been cleaned to the right perfection and all the rest of it. She turned and saw me like this up against the door. And she said, Ah, no problem, no problem. I've been here 20 years, no problem. <laughs> it comes out of nowhere though. He said little lady, I knew it. Does it do a racist Asian lady impression? <laughs> ah, no, pro no problem, no problem. Did like, he what? say he was? Hmm? I don't remember, but while they were shooting, I'm guessing uh, silence, so some kind of Asian country. <laughs> That's, that just came out. I was not. I'm like, what's it, like? What's gonna happen? Like, it's like the clip wasn't ending. I'm like, all right, 45 seconds. What's gonna happen? And it's like, ah, no problem. I'm like, oh god, Liam Neeson, stop. <laughs> it's like that one time you started telling a story about like wanting to kill black men because like a friend of his was like assaulted by a black man. So he was like, I was walking down the streets of Dublin looking for any black man I could find. I'm like, god damn, Liam Neeson, stop talking in interviews. People Do people oh, like shit. Liam Neeson? I love Liam Neeson. He's Do you guy. not love Liam Neeson? I know. 
Does what? Movies. He does action movies. He, he does action hey, movies no, now. No, you guys I've know the. You guys, one, you, two, three, well, no, he was like. You guys know the old Liam Neeson. When he was young, he was a great dramatic actor, and he was obviously Qui Gon Jinn in in the, the Phantom Menace, Star Wars, and he is you know the Taken. I forget his name. Br- Brian Mills actually. I think that's his name. I'm Brian Mills. Horrible you movies. Took my daughter. What? The Taken Horrible one. Movies. Taken one is amazing. Taken two and three. Uh, my don't it. Taken one is a like. Perfect movie for what it is. Perfect, flawless movie. I have no thoughts about Liam Neeson. Taken One. Do you not like Taken One? I haven't seen it in, re- in recent memory. What? I have a very particular set of How skills. How often do you watch <laughs> Taken? I've, I've taken and I've seen it like four times or something. But like you know, the the phone call, the very iconic phone call. Yeah, it I was memed to death you. in like 2012. I remember. Oh come on, man! You guys are not fun. <laughs> You're not fun watching. We're in a demon Elijah movies. right? Need them, the boys. <laughs> Talk about Taken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's a good actor, Harold. But this is the racism arc. I didn't expect it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is very good. Uh, okay, we got to talk about this. The, this crap boy ad, folks. Okay, this I saw this on Twitter. I've been dreading talking about it. I Why? Do you know something about it that I don't? Or like, uh, la, la, is la. extra? La, but take it. I know. I feel like we're gonna hate on the girl. Hold on, Bird. So yeah, so Bird Delicious. Okay, she's very famous. She has oh. two million followers on uh, TikTok. I've seen her around, like, in ads and stuff here and there. I don't really know what she does. She is big on TikTok. Is she, like, is it a food account? Is it, like, makeup? Um, like, vlogs. I know it's mostly about her. Vlogs. Okay, personal vlogs. So this is a video collab with Tufiru. Before we get to the Crepeway collaboration she did, uh, here's some, just, let's take an idea of who she is. Smile. Sourie. Sonries. Sourie. Yalla, jersey, one, two. That you become kashra. You become a dull exalene. Mop the hack and he's some dacky swan. Mas alik, yalla, one, two. Sharafik shotile can shake. You become a dull like a bandley. Shotile yalla can shake the alley. As Alla, one. So I'm eating cake. Two. Good old two for Luke body shaming. Oh yeah. Oh, like a bayonet, not down the shadow. Saraha, down the shadow. Yani, bad the shway, fad the bad the shway. Eh, yalla, one bet. Nafsi. This is mostly to feel you. Let's see. Um, this is a random vlog. Four minutes should give us more than enough. Let's watch the first like 50 seconds. Hi guys, اليوم موعد ضفيرة. هيدا الجمعة عيد ميلادي صار رح أعمل birthday nails. هيدا كسر. صار بيأثر حن رح نز حن حن نروح نعمل زبط. وكمان بدي أعمل lashes refill and زبط الرماس. Outfit check. Oh okay, I already hate this yo. Too much. أنا كتير ما تحمسي. Not her. I hate the video. وصلتي. Oh, she's a cartoon character, bro. <laughs> but she's sweet. Well, I'm gonna say, I know I don't like it. I don't want to see him. I know this girl that's hating on. She I seems know. nice. And I think she's my age. Masala. She seems I very don't sweet. Hate on her. Yeah. This is not for me. This content is not for me. Is what I'll say. You know, it's I, not for me. It's not for us. But so no, there's definitely she has two million followers, so there's definitely a huge audience for it. And I just like, why would I watch this? Anyways, this is not the problem. This is all fun, fun and good. This, folks. Is an ad that she got paid to do for Crepeway, folks. So someone, there was an exchange of money for this to happen. Someone paid for this. Let's watch. I know this took like a million takes. They had to do this over and over <laughs> yeah. again, probably. Yeah, it took a million takes. 
So I feel like this was Someone the first fucked thing. up. <laughs> I have been to this crap away, folks. But Zakir Huna came. I'm not Taule Huna. I'm in a reunion of my old high school with Anthony Razid, like fucking 15 years ago. Big ass table. Yeah, this is. And this, I haven't. I really don't go to this crap away very often anymore. It's like super out of the I way and stuff. Away, hey, um, what do you guys think about this? Other than the obvious, yeah. I don't know if singing was the right choice. A lot of bad choices were made. A lot of definitely. <laughs> I don't care. No, it's crazy. Like this was approved. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. this had to go through. You know, the crap away. Someone in market. Someone from like is a Kenfish agency that linked up, Bird Delicious and crap away. That person had to like approve it, right? The agency. Well, then crap away has to be like, yeah, we're down to sign off on this. We're down to have this represent our brand on the internet. And at least three or four people must have seen this and were like, this is good to go on the internet. Uh, so that's one thing. Well, I think that this is just the natural consequence of kind of what's happening and all marketing. Hello, no one wants to spend money on proper ads. We kill the us TikTok. Let's just isn't, don't yeah, the kids 100%. like TikTok? Let's do it on TikTok. They want to pay nothing, but they need for meet dollar. They want to hire. Yeah, can't you do everything for a hundred bucks? So they don't want to spend the money to do something. They want to use people who you know, no offense to Bird Delicious. She's not a marketer. She's an influencer. She does vlogs and stuff. Doesn't mean she is a creative. She has the mind of someone that works like a creative agency or who maybe who has maybe this wasn't her idea. This probably wasn't her idea. But send them in. And they're skipping so many processes. Normally when a company wants to do marketing, you work with an agency. The agency comes up with like 10 ideas. Well, then you, 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 you get production houses that bid on you know, who makes the best offer. And then you choose out of all those production houses, the one that you think can execute your, your idea and bring it to life. Hone, it's like. Or something. It's like, and they don't want to spend the money. And this is what happens when you don't want to spend the money and you don't want to hire talented people. Mamu that Bird Delicious isn't talented, but whoever the director or the creative director of this thing is, yeah, and like that, that random, like the song is horrible. Everything is just bad. You know, it's not their fault. But some like this is what passes for marketing. This is kind of what's sad. You know what I mean? But it just reminds me of. أول سمستر جامعة لإلي عملنا like a video like a music video presentation it was exactly that it's so horrible I know no. it, just don't use that use this to market your place it's okay to say no أول وليش a cappella like you're not doing it any favors by having no music echo yeah. like if they just put some music in the background it it's sounds ar- like it's been recorded in like a Bro, it's horrible. Or toilet. You know what I mean? Like, you know, at, le- at toilet. least help it. Help it by putting some music in the back. They're like, we don't even want to spend money on my head. The Muffy budget. You know what I mean? Like, if they want to put music in the back, they have to pay someone to do it. They're like, oh, no, we don't want to pay anyone. If you want to pay 20 bucks, no one is going to walk out of this ad looking good. Neither crap away. This does not make me want to order crap away. This does not make me want to hire Bird Delicious to, to do an ad for... Company A or Company B. And I mean, it's tough when hey, that she, but the abadi tired that she bird delicious can't be that much, or yes. or must have been a lot, you know, for her. But like, like you said, just do it, just do it. And a script. Yeah, exactly. It's okay has they to gave her. Has no, wish gave her the script. But so she has two million followers. Like she yeah, probably she made been. a decent chunk of change. You know what I mean? But so come in. It's okay to say no to projects when when exactly. they're bad. Say no. It's fine. I know money is nice. We all like to make money. But so sometimes in life you got to be like, you know what? I could make money, but it's going to cost me something else. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Dignity. <laughs> the video isn't even edited in Africa. It's like That's one the shot. Subtitles. Yeah. yeah. Th- is it like a one take? I mean, so like they really had to do this. Uh... Do you guys want to watch it again? I think we have to. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it's worth. Uh... <laughs> and there's dancing. <laughs> She's the MVP of that video. That's what I thought of myself. The silence, it's like horrible. I know, crap away. That would have been perfect with that, actually. 
Uh, anyways, uh, what do you guys think of this ad? Uh, should Crepeway invest in some actual? And I, I, I was like, I'm about to email like Crepeway. I'm like, would you guys like to do an ad with us? Sponsor a couple of episodes. I either never heard back, or they were like, you know, no, we're not interested. So it obviously didn't work out. So they're like, you know. You know what I mean? I'll do it for free. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just because uh, Crepeway means a lot to me as an institution. I don't know. As a little child, can I make Crepeway with Dream Park? Is it the Whoever works there. Can... <laughs> that shit is old, man. <laughs> Crepeway is like 28 or 29, maybe 30 years old. I feel oh, it's damn. New, it? It's for not. It's not. It's not. It's an old institution. <laughs> for <laughs> well, oh. Again, nothing against Bird Delicious. You're probably a sweetheart. And this is just a, a horrible ad. You know it. <laughs> and I'm not telling you anything you don't know. You know how bad this is. Uh, you know how bad this is. All right, this is let's watch some more of the vlog. No, be careful. Be careful. We don't need to watch. Be careful, cakes. I'm going to have to stop you. Like a, bar like a bartender <laughs> cutting off a, a drunk uh, customer. I'm glad we have you here, Karin, because uh, Joy Tassidis, renowned Christian man, uh, <laughs> is potentially offending Iftar <laughs> and uh, your entire religion. So Let's let us see. I'll see be the judge of that. What's okay. going on? He went viral basically <laughs> on uh, Twitter because he said, especially Lucharuf, uh, which has been deemed by the Lurian as especially Lucharuf is the food blogger <laughs> of Hai Kifak Sava. Especially Lucharuf. <laughs> so, in what context was especially Lucharuf used? Let's watch. Why is Joy Tassidis in trouble this week? Bonjour, bonjour, c'est le Ramadan, and even though I'm Christian, I love to go to Iftar. I went to Lisa and Shafi, I did a collaboration with Host by Moui. I did a lot of Iftar every night, and honestly, I loved it. There are a lot of joy in Ramadan. And he is the man new, like $55 per person. The food is a lot of joy, especially the Kharouf. Yalla, follow for more. <laughs> Il y a trop de joie oh, de, de Ramadan. So what are Karine? As now we can we can ask some we can hey, someone with credibility. What are <laughs> Ramadan <laughs> ajwit? Please explain. What did Joy feel? I think he just meant a nofi oriental aesthetic in the restaurant. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like Arabian. Arabian. Mainly. I think that's what he was going for. Ajwit. Ajwit Ramadan was. I don't think Ajwit Ramadan was Ashrafi. Belize. Belize. Ashrafi. To pay fifty five dollars. It's overpriced. Is that why people were offended? They're always no. That it over, it's always overpriced. Yeah. yeah. So that that's a usual thing. But so no, I think. But so no, so just having Oriental like hey, someone belly yeah, dancing in the back. Come in like another Ramadan. decorative plates. So heck, that's why he was like a shwe Ramadan. But also, uh, I thought like when you said people were offended, I thought shitty like alcohol with it. That would have been <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> On a commandé une bouteille de vin. <laughs> so, so on est uh, Giselle. Hi, John. She's like, il y a trop de jouets de Ramadan. She clearly, she like that. She agrees with us. On est, uh, what's that? Per Sparkling Reem. Says what? Uh, Jama Iftar, does Iftar, El Ba'i. Des, 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 ah, ja des. Jama Iftar, jama des Iftar. Ah, who, who, when did he say des Iftar? I guess, heck, I guess. Like. Ambiance de, de, des Iftar. Oh, oh, yeah, Ramadan. he did say that. <laughs> uh, on est, ma de son. <laughs> Hus no longer Khalas. He's lost his faith, folks. Joy Tassidis has shaken Hus's faith. And, um, he got a lot of hate, by the way. He always gets it's hate. It's a fine video. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the video. He's just being his usual <laughs> self, and <laughs> people don't like that. <laughs> so there's this other account, speaking of Joy Tassidis, called Hara After, Hara After Dinner. They do like weird edits on Instagram. They're probably on TikTok, I'm guessing. Well, they did one about joy, but I want to first look at their said one because it reminded me a lot of something I did like two years, three years ago. I don't want to bring this up again. I really don't care. This is water un beyond water under the bridge. Sometimes I when I was invited to said then I didn't end up going to said for various reasons. Uh, <laughs> I made like a little clip on the next episode, kind of, uh, you know, t poking fun at said so let's watch this edit because there's an account that basically just does edits like this now on Instagram. And it's kind of, and I, and I love these kinds of edits. I'm not saying that I inspired it, but maybe, hey, let me know in the comments. Uh, let's just watch this. This is like from three years ago. Previously. So a very long time ago. On Saturday after dinner. اليوم لما بتشوف كيف بيولعوا السوشيال ميديا لما حدا بيعمل فاندريزنج تبع خيي. فاندريزنج جراند فاكتوري. مين أول شيء مين أنت تقول إنه ما قالوا الحق؟ أكيد. بعتد عم ننمي نحن ثقافة كثير توكسيك. صار كله انتقاد نحن اليوم هلا بدبي خيي انه انت مخبى ورا الشاشه تبع التليفون او تبع الكمبيوتر تبعك ايه هيدا عم بتلاحق وعم تعمل كايند اوف بولينج بولينج 
مين اول شيء مين انت تقول انه ما له الحق؟ اكيد صار كله انتقال بعتد عم ننمي نحن ثقافه كثير توكسيك توكسيك نحن اليوم هلا بدبي توكسيك صار كله انتقال فاند ريزنج براند فاكتور كيف بيولع السوشيال ميديا مين اول شيء مين انت تقول انه ما له الحق؟ اكيد اكيد توكسيك أكيد. أكيد مخبى ورا شاشة أكيد نحن اليوم هلا بدبي توكسيك أكيد كله انتقال انتقال توكسيك أكيد مخبى ورا شاشة دبي توكسيك أكيد مخبى ورا شاشة تبع التليفون أو تبع الكمبيوتر تبعك توكسيك أكيد دبي آخ Wait, it's so relaxing though. And it's like, Akid, Akid, like just the echo. Well, the more you hear it, it becomes kind of like a trance. Anyways, so this was the first video that I saw of theirs. It kind of reminded me of this a little bit, albeit much shorter, a lot more to the point than mine was. I know. Yes. I know. Nadina Baki, welcome to. So good. Sorry, bro. So there's another one they made about Joy Tassidi. Out of this one, and it, Joy will not be happy with us for playing this, for sure. So we've been through the, we've been through fire, my Joy. Who, uh, I think as long as we're not talking about his brother Ron, we ain't getting no lawsuits. So let's go, baby. Woo! Vendredi, balèche mon week-end bide piqûre Toulouse wait. Après ça, rien à la bide piqûre Toulouse wait. Café na la bide piqûre Toulouse wait. And then bide piqûre Toulouse, Toulouse wait. Dimanche, il faisait trop trop chaud, so I spent the whole day bide piqûre Toulouse wait. Ou talab na kamen bide piqûre Toulouse wait. the quality of the edits hey yeah, they're nice the good quality of oh, snappy edits it's great comedic timing but i don't think we're known enough that's how after dinner watches. We're, we're not annoying yeah we're not uh know, at least i hope we're not annoying but so no i think they're going after my bad you know cringy stuff you know what i mean you make the cringy and we're a bit cringe if someone does something like this about us then i'm guessing we're cringy so that mm. that is a bad thing we're asking for uh, it. You did that yourself. <laughs> well, that was that. Uh, the piqûre to lose weight. <laughs> what are the, the I feel like piqûre to lose weight does not sound healthy. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I don't know any of these health These tricks. Procedures, these it burns, tricks. Does it like burn fat or something? Probably, actually. Speaking of the piqûre to lose weight, folks, let us take a second to thank our sponsor, 16 millimeter bar in Jamaica, folks. Uh, it is a beautiful bar located, folks, in Jamaica, 300 meters after the police station and facing Rebirth, Beirut. They have an amazing selection of cocktails, food, a delicious burger called the Big Kahuna Burger that we tried and we talked about it for eight minutes two weeks <laughs> ago. And we're not going to go over it again, but you have to try it for yourselves. They have amazing drinks. How can you get a free drink at a 16 millimeter bar, folks? Uh, Noor, tell us, how does someone get a free drink? Tell us, tell us. You say do not worry to the waiter and you get a free drink. <laughs> Starting what time? Starting <laughs> 8 p.m. after happy hour. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> so starting 8 p.m. after happy hour, folks. Just look at your bartender. Hello, you already have to be drinking something. You can't just be there drinking a water and then ask for a, for a whiskey. You know what I mean? But if you're drinking an alcoholic beverage, just look at your waiter. After 8 p.m., be like, do not worry. You're going to get a second of those drinks for free. If you're with a date, you both get a drink. If you're with a table of 20... You get 20 free drinks on the table, folks. Uh, you do not want to pass up this deal, folks. It is really amazing. Uh, and I, might, I talk about it all the time. My favorite drink is the May Parker. Don't ask me what's in it because I don't know. But they have a delicious uh, sweet bourbon iced tea, if I'm not mistaken. Is it the sweet bourbon iced tea? It's the bourbon iced tea. Bourbon iced tea. It's really good. It's, it's honestly like super cozy. Uh, everyone there is really nice. They have special chefs that come in and do like special menus every now and then. Uh, uh, guest bartenders that come in with crazy cocktails, crazy drinks. We tried a bunch of really good ones a couple of weeks ago. It's a fantastic spot. Is a movie lovers like haven. You know, if you like movies, there's a projector playing movies all the time. You got beautiful like classic movie posters everywhere and and records and stuff. It's very chill. You got high quality drinks, high quality mm -hmm. ingredients, mm -hmm. amazing service. You know what I mean? Very friendly staff, very friendly service. Uh, we love going there. It's my favorite bar, Bilibnein, hands down. 
So hey, you never, you might even see me there. Not much should do eat going because I just don't leave my house very often. But so no, you never know, folks. You want to run into your favorite podcaster. Uh, sure. You know where to go. You know where to find me. <laughs> so thank you to 16 Millimeter for sponsoring us for the last three weeks. We love you guys. You got till April 4th. Okay, after 8 p.m. And remember to drink responsibly. Okay, folks, we were just chugging along on this nice, short, refreshingly short episode. Low stakes, Mafishi, no lawsuits coming uh, this week. I feel it. Uh, James Maslow, free Lebanon video. Let's talk about this for a second. This guy was like, I don't know anything about this guy, but Frogan used to be a fan of this dude. Frogan from the a Raps podcast. This guy's in a band. He's Big like time some... Rush. Big Time Rush. What, what, what do you know about Big Time Rush? So tell us. James um, David Maslow. So Big Time Rush was um, a fake band on Nickelodeon. They had like a TV show and everything. It was no during way. it was during the One Direction era. Yeah, okay, so Keno, okay. basically, they used to compete with 1D, but they were way like smaller scale. But then they became an actual band and they toured for a while. Like they w- it was a boy band, not an actual band. Okay. And they had fans and everything, but then like it was short lived. Because I think Halla maybe they had a revival. I'm not sure. But what? So, so their band actually does go on tour and does stuff. Yeah, like, but this was in like the early 2010s. So I, don't, I don't know when they broke up. So, so this guy, apparently, so James Maslow, he's either the lead singer of the band? They all sing their uh, it's they a boy band. It's their boy band. Okay, yeah. so this guy, one of the three, apparently like went to Israel uh, for like a trip. He became yeah. like part of their media or whatever. And here's like, he's doing uh, literally IDF propaganda videos. Free Lebanon. Not sure if you've heard, but Lebanon is occupied. I'm kind of not kidding. Hezbollah is the Iranian-backed terror group that controls a significant part of Lebanon. The tiny country just above Israel. Now, Hezbollah is the most heavily armed non-state actor. They have over 150,000 rockets and missiles. You know, just to put it into perspective, they're estimated to have more firepower than 95% of the world's conventional armies. Think about it. And these guys are not quiet about their agenda. Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, praised Hamas's attacks on Israel in 10-7 which targeted civilians, massacring 1,200 Israelis, Jews, Arabs, and foreign residents. And since 10-7, Hezbollah has fired missiles at Israel's northern communities, destroying military infrastructure, killing soldiers and civilians, and forcing around 100,000 Israelis to leave their homes and take refuge. What? He had to, Israelis had to, they were forced to leave their homes? I wonder how that feels. Like, it's like, it's like almost like they did it to someone else in 1948 who, by the way, are still displaced today. The civilians in Gaza- They're still displaced? Oh no, I wonder what that feels like. Who, was there someone like, is there a people that used to live there that was just, no, I can't, I can't think of the name. ...are not the only ones living under a terror regime. Unfortunately, the same thing is happening in the North and Lebanon under a terrorist regime known as Hezbollah, which frankly is 10 times as deadly as Hamas. So my question is, why is nobody calling to free Lebanon? You motherfucker. James Maslow from I'm Big Time Rush wants to just what? destroy Lebanon. What? You motherfucker. Asshole. He was on Nickelodeon, you said? Yeah. You fucker. I wish that Schneid- Dan Schneider guy <laughs> was in a room alone <laughs> with you. No. Motherfucker. Who I wish this? I, I mean, I, I don't feel bad about saying it. For this, for James Maslow, he deserves it. You motherfucker. Dan Schneider should have had his way with you, little boy. I'm kidding, guys. Obviously, this is ne- it's never okay. You know what I mean? Um, but for Zionists, oh. Uh, who posted this on his account? He posted this or on like his account. The only reason I saw it was because Frogan shared this, and she was like, cause "I think Frogan was a big, big time Rush fan." Not anymore. She's like, "Fuck these people." No, but, this is uh, awful. It's kind of funny, right? I think this is gonna be like their next propaganda campaign, like Free Lebanon. I bet you over the next few years, I'm Free Lebanon, Free Lebanon. Don't you want to free Lebanon? Free Lebanon from Hezbollah. Free Gaza from Hamas and free Lebanon from Hezbollah. Yeah. That's so dumb. I love the way he pronounces things. Uh, it mez Lebanon folks broke the internet uh, over Mother's Day. Mm-hmm, P- this yeah. video went viral because yeah. you know Lebanon's going through a crazy uh, financial crisis. No one's got any money, and people were shocked to see that there was people buying stuff from It mez, which is a expensive luxury brand. Hello. Happy Mother's Day. Hello. I feel bad like doxing these people. I'm just doxing them so They're literally just buying stuff. No one's doing anything wrong, yeah. No? A lot of nose jobs in this uh, video. I was gonna say. A lot of nose jobs. <laughs> yeah, no. This 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 was very controversial in the you have all these people shopping who 
How did they have the heart to shop wicked? Do you guys have any thoughts on this? Is this con is this a controversial video? I don't care how people spend their money, but um, the woman who posted this video, I saw it on my FYP, so I remember her caption was like, "My Lebanon heart." Her Lebanon is the place where people spend money at luxury brands. It's okay. just so tone deaf. Yeah, so that context that makes it a little bit more uh, and less the okay. Comments, the comments people were like, "I thought Lebanon was like going through a crisis right now," and then she was like. There are rich people and poor people, like, everywhere else. I am not okay, the peasant. Okay, lady. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys. It was just so... No. No, Lebanon is not like And what's funny, the Lana for about that, look, their moms are like, what's weird is that you know, if it's Mother's Day, shouldn't it be full of, like, their kids buying them gifts? It's like they're there buying their own gifts for themselves. Should we be at Mez, like, shoes and bags and purses? Yeah, what is mm -hmm. it? Yes. Mm -hmm. All that kind of and stuff. And scarves and stuff like that. Because everyone's got orange boxes. They look like Nike boxes, to be honest with you. Had that signature box. Yeah, and that's nice, Yana, but it is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they have belts and stuff too. And no, hey, more power to you. I mean, I mean, it's fun. I guess it's. I know. I really don't care. Yeah, I'm I know. We, I know. Yeah, I got nothing to add to it. It's just funny, I guess. Like yeah, we know we have rich people from there. Bravo, bless them. Enjoy. <laughs> like uno, sh I hope they enjoyed the uh, what they what they done purchased. Okay, folks. Here's this was actually a cute little moment that went viral on uh, on Twitter. A picture of Robert De Niro with his great grandson. Look at that. Oh, wait, no, that's actually, correction, that's his grandson. That's Robert De Niro's grandson. Oh, wait, no, no, update. That's actually his son, folks. What a, what a, what a, what a prank. <laughs> I got y'all, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> no one's looking at me with like the, like, you see, I feel like a dad, like a dad joke at this point. Yeah. Anyways, look at the 10-month-old baby with Robert De Niro and he's 80. Isn't that gross? Isn't that disgusting? What do you guys think? Is it this is it nasty? How old is his wife? Uh, I think she's 45 years old. Okay, yeah. yeah. So Tiffany Chen De Niro is 45 years old. So I mean, she knows what she's doing. She's an adult, oh, obviously. Oh, so she's baby. 45. Who? How old? How he's old? 80. He's 80. It's nasty. Mm. It's nasty. Hello, whatever. Cause okay, hello, Robert De Niro. He's rich. It's not like he, when he dies, the baby's gonna be left with nothing. But at the same time, he's not gonna have a father Self. figure. It's just selfish. I don't know. Yeah. Hello. And I get that he's like old as fucking like geriatric. Like he's very old, but sooner like. For example, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, I think those guys, just for being who they are and like their legacy, I think plays a big role in like why a 45 year old would be like okay with like, you know what? I get that he's 80, but like it's fucking De Niro. Yeah, and a De Niro at 80 is like most men at 60 or something. Like, yeah, but that kid's, I know, he's only gonna know his father from movies. You got a couple more years, yeah, yeah. And a little, little junior, you got a couple more years with, uh, with, with daddy. Because daddy's gonna, uh, and think of the day when, and I like, I th like when you see that tweet, ro actor Robert De Niro passes away at 81. Like, holy fuck, that's gonna shake yeah. the world, man. That's gonna be fucking crazy. Like, we're getting to the point where all these legends are. Mm. We're getting to that age, you know what I mean? Al Pacino ain't, ain't getting younger. Uh, the the tweet says that he had his first child 46 years ago. So he was, uh, if he's 80, and he was I 34. He has a lot of kids. That's I cannot imagine my dad kids. having having a baby oh, and like. 25 years or something I'd, I'd be sick like i can't imagine how his other kids feel about yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> i'd be so pissed <laughs> what else we got folks we're almost done yeah we're getting to the end folks Ooh, what do you guys think of uh, chiropractors pseudoscience oh, I, li I like the, the videos <laughs> i can i love it but so no, do, do you believe in the the science the, I, the I science don't. of chiropractic uh, chiropractic T chiropractic? What the fuck is it called? Chiropractic. Uh, I, I haven't tried enough about it. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, and I just see the painful videos, and I'm like, why would anyone want to go? And like, he doesn't like. This is Elio Dacuni, friend of the, the show. Videos are very disturbing. We have them, Lebanon. Yeah, there's a chiropractor, <laughs> Lebanon. <laughs> this is Elio Dacuni, guys. You know him, the, the slurpy man who eats the the but the macaroni. Lebanon, friend of the I show, Elio Dacuni. Listen to this. Uh, oh, let's uh, the thing, you know, it, it, it's painful. Like you see Elio being in pain, and then the skilled comments are like, "Wow, I want to give me, I want to crack my bones." But it's like, bro, like he, man, other than Elio Dacuni, looks like he's in a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> he's cracking his ear, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this one's nice. <laughs> 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 Does that sound like someone who's getting like pain relief? Like, oh, 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 like I get sometimes like there's pain that feels a little good. This does not. This sounds like fucking painful. The man is being tortured. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 
And I'm just laughing because of the pain, bro. Oh. <laughs> When how did the noise the table? <laughs> Have another cake. Mom with the cake. cake. Yes. Wow, she put the things that that's mine. The next way. Ooh, the laughing, he's you know like those people go to like the church, they start speaking in tongues, like whatever, they like they get kind of delirious. This is kind of like how Elio. Look, he's got a fucking belt. What show me? I'm in a contraption. Is this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's happening? The rebirth. Rebirth. He's gonna kill him. Oh fuck. Oh. I can watch. He's enjoying it. It's almost done. It's almost done. There's one. Oh, oh, yeah. bro, that was I, often. That was bro, awesome. there's no way that's not like a sound effect, bro. La Pessi exaggerates the sound. What is that, dude? Oh my god, dude, that was so crazy, dude. That this guy seems to be. He's a very what's his name? Man, Ben is sorry. I don't. He put his uh, video hot. Um, Ben, okay, yeah, so we, you, you'll see his name, Hat Elijah, the name of the chiropractor. If you guys are into that stuff, this guy seems like to be a pro. He's going to all these basketball games. It says, Anna, to me, I agree, pseudoscience, like, I don't believe in that. It seems, like, horribly painful. I would never do that. <laughs> if I show up to a doctor's office and they have a ring light up, I'm leaving. He had a ring light in the, <laughs> in the corner of it's the It's 2024. At this point, you got to think that every doctor and everyone, influencing on the side, you got to promote your business on TikTok. You got to hustle. Side hustle. You gotta share fun facts. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you know that in when you do the chiropractors, the five benefits? You gotta do it. Cut us. It's the game. You gotta, you gotta, you know, pay them bills. You gotta fat you shut up with it. Go. Uh, irrelevant. But uh, every time, since you guys talk about like what you said and Fadi Shadow, but every time I'm like sitting, I'm like, mm, I wonder what they're up to. I search them on TikTok and they're live, they're live. every single every time. time. They don't stop. They, they never they, stop. And even though it's like seven viewers. They don't give a fuck. They're ruthless. Even if it's like it's four a.m., you know what I mean? They're, yeah. they're like they're they're ruthless. Let me. Is this fucked up to talk about? Let me know. This is a random lady that I uh, I threw some money at her. But <laughs> oh, shifted. Threw some money at her. Shifted. Do not worry. Thank you, ya habibi. For sure, we will not be worried. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, a random Willem Dafoe video, guys. Uh, I'm a huge Willem Dafoe fan. Obviously, the first time I saw him as a child, he was the Green Goblin in Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Uh, and he's terrifying presence, but he's got such a swagger. He's like such a like a subtle. He's very like subtly cool. It's like the a, artist vibe. Yeah, you know what I mean. My vibe is like he's got the, like style, man. I love hey, it. how you doing today? Good. What's your name and where you from? Willem Dafoe. I'm from. Wisconsin. Ooh, Wisconsin is in the house now. Yeah, I'm, from, I'm from uh, Rome. Okay, say. okay. Shout out to Rome. Yeah. Oh, we see your fit. Describe it. Uh, what I'm wearing? Yep. Um, Prada <laughs> shoes. Prada. Prada coat. Bam. T-shirt. Okay. A green Woolrich oh, sweater. Green goblin, even when he's not. Filming Spider-Man, bro. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a goblin. Did you give anybody? And uh, my yeah, fault, my fault. I, I didn't tell you. I didn't finish here. Okay. My and then some, something else. I don't know what it is. Peter. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> if you get, hold up, hold up. If you give any, okay. If you give anybody a style tip, what would it be? I wouldn't do that. I would never give anybody a style tip. Okay. King, King, William the Folk King. What a king. I don't know why I put this. Up. It's crazy and no Ibil. I don't know if like to stop people at the I don't think this was pre pre planned. I don't think so. It's, it's like the what do you do for a living? 
Yeah. Yeah, well, kind of cool. Cool. Son is cool. yeah, he's cool. I like him. Nice, no, fucking. He's a he, he's a G. As you guys know, uh, I'm a big Malik Tau fan, folks. So we're uh, it's a big part of our lives here uh, on the show. I don't know why, but so no. it? it's not. So no, <laughs> look, they their shit tastes good, all right. If I want a nice little Lebanese burger, they have it uh, with the coleslaw and all that stuff. They're good with the Tau sandwich on it. When you have a craving for Malik Tau, it's the only thing that satisfies mm -hmm. it. It opened in France recently in Paris. Now it's in Montreal, folks. We got some Lebanese people trying it out. Let's see. Uh, let's see if they like it. Montreal, the time has finally come. And if you know this logo, you know what I'm about to say. Malakito, one if not the most famous restaurant in Lebanon, is opening here in Montreal. And I got to try it. But before that, you need to understand there's a love story between me and this place. I've spent my whole engineering degree there, day and night between study sessions. We you can just understand how excited like I was. Right so too, this honestly. is the sandwich. All it takes is to watch the video, man. And bro, you can see how happy I was to try it. I was with a friend and love at first bite. It tastes just like the one in Lebanon. Bro, I was so happy, I swear. It opens on March 23rd. And yeah. if you should save one place off of my whole trip, it should be this one. And if I go to Canada, first place I'll go to is Malik Same thing, if I go to France, bro, I'm getting a Malik Tau. Bouzid Bashir. I'm going to be yeah. such an idiot. And as I brought France. Literally going there. There was a huge line when it opened in Canada. Really? Like I people waited for hours. Bro, there's tons of Lebanese people there. Uh, yeah. So, man, it makes sense. Maestro, folks. Uh, the king of rebranding his chocolate. What the king fee? Valentine's Day, he took his chocolates. Hatun bill. Trio pack, taba al Valentine's Day. Then Mother's Day, trio pack, Mother's Day, the same three chocolates. Halla fil Aid, he has the Aid pack. He redid the trio pack, was in a purple box. The same three chocolates for nine bucks. Rahiyan, he's gonna shove them down our throats until he comes out with his next product. But I'm starting, I think I'm starting to like the maestro, my body. You know what I mean? And I have a conspiracy. What's the conspiracy? I know, I know the chocolate bars, and he's not actually selling the chocolate bars. It's actually gambling. <laughs> gambling? Yeah, because they checks for you. They have checks, little checks, and a thousand dollars. To be them well, yeah, it's a, it's a. For it, and we all the world, I'm gonna bid for nine dollars. Well, who actually? A thousand. Here's Maestro running around the mall. He's gonna buy someone a gift. It's a Mr. Beast style videos. مرحبا. مرحبا. تابع المايسترو على تيك توك. صراحة لا. مرحبا. تابعين المايسترو على تيك توك. فرجيني. عمل له فلو. مرحبا متابع المايسترو على تيك توك مايسترو ايه فرجيني I like that this guy's waiting at the escalator where the children play تيحكيون away from their parents برافو عندي مفاجاه على قلق مايسترو you guys look at this look how he's gonna meet his hero مايسترو كانه شايف يسوع that's crazy مايسترو مايسترو He's hugging him. Okay. Bro, this little boy is like seven, eight. Nah, that's nah. a 12 year old. 12. Eh. 12. Doesn't look like a very tall child. <laughs> now, we're not here to talk about people's how tall they are, how short they are, but like, I, and we, we've <sighs> talked about Maestro being a little short before, but I was not expecting him being that tiny. This is pretty, I and mean, he's almost Muhammad the dietitian levels of tiny. Yeah, and those two can we can put them in a ring and have them run around. I'm not on how short he is. Hakeen on how he looks like he doesn't have a penis. A penis, and he's like a Ken doll at the bottom, <laughs> probably. Because he has to be so family friendly and like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, that, that he can't have any sexual desires. My he shirt. is also short. And he's around children all the time, so you can't have, you know, he has to be extra safe. But he's, he's just a little short. I don't, like, he looks pretty tiny to me, you know what I mean? Which might explain, you know, the color of the Napoleon... Uh, uh, Napoleon complex when you're kind of tiny so you you overcompensate. you overcompensate in a lot of ways I think Maestro's whole actually YouTube career could whoa he's the definition of overcompensating he's got like five YouTube channels he wants to stack he wants to stack cars on one another and I'm the number one oh my god we this is it's all because he's short let's continue watching bonjour madame okay five seconds أي شيء بتمسكه خمس ثواني بشتري لك إياه خمسة أربعة ثلاثة اثنين بس خلص تليفون هدا تليفون شيء بالعرض هدا آيباد ما عندك تليفون 
فوتك شاشة مكسورة ما بتحضرنا على شاشة مكسورة أنا ما بقبل تحضرنا على شاشة مكسورة ما شو رح نشتري تاني في عن جد يروح يشتري تليفون؟ ايه ما شو رايك؟ انا بفتكر انه قرط اونستلي شو رايك بالمايسترو بعد ما جربته اوكي انا عايش من علبه بعد ما جربته طبعا كان بيقولوا لي اوف ستوك عم بضل اوت اوف ستوك الحمد لله هلا فيك لاف ذات لايك ريهرس لايك هي لايك لوكس ويل <laughs> but the zoom in Elijah I laugh <laughs> he has to laugh because that's the he, he, he turns on hey like before he leaves the house like he looks at the mirror he's like today maestro like you're gonna be the most maestro you've ever been like slap him slaps himself then he's in, in character then he leaves the house he's like now look he's maestro ready to perform after his blood bath. and he has to be on all the time you can't not be on when you're maestro you have to say hi to fans you're like the rock kind of you know what I mean hey blood that bishop up like Rituals and shit. To keep his skin young. To keep his skin young so he can blend in with all those children. But the kid was like, I'm in the Maestro Barbad. It's always sold out. Can you think of a better opportunity for him to be like, well, actually, as the creator of the Maestro Bar, here's a trio pack. Mate bar, mate she's just like, I'm a little tough shit, bro. Give him a bar, bro. What I'm saying is stupid, but it's not. ما قد ما مشانين ما بنلحق نعطي ما محل عم يكون راح يلا ثاني مره انت وحظك مرحبا حبيب قلبي عم بقول معروف بدنا بدنا هيدا بس شو هو هيدا هيدا ايفون هيدا ايفون تحديدا زكي هيدا ايفون اكيد اوه ميرسي اوكي ذاتس الايفون 11 يو كان جست تيل باي ذا ذا واي ذا كاميرز اور ات كود بي 12 ماكسيموم هيدا ايفون 12 بيكوز ستارتنج وذ ذا ايفون 13 ذا كاميرا ستارت تو بي لايك ذس واي ذا ايفون 12 سو يعني This should cost around six, seven hundred dollars, maybe. At this point, there's a few thirteen. There's a fourteen. There's the fifteen. There's so max five to six hundred bucks. Look at the stack of cash he's gonna give that guy, bro. Oh, merci. Elijah, zoom in. I'm in the she calculate, and this looks like seven, eight hundred dollars, bro. Aratuk ya maestro. This is way too much money for an iPhone 11 or 12. He better hug you for that phone. Abadan, mabrook alim. This okay, a brilliant. Yeah, what a masterpiece! How much do you guys love Maestro more than you did before? Now seeing how, what a generous man, okay. tall man. I said, I'm a camera, telephone, and movies, but to watch your videos, Maestro. Send us iPhones. Oh, we're asking him for free phones now. <laughs> send us iPhone 15s. After what? After what we said, you think he's gonna send us free phones? Man? La, by the way, I wanted to say, and we keep hating on him. We seem very like a desperate way, but I know it's fine. We're hating on him. I'll be honest. He seems like a very nice guy. To be honest, he does seem like a very nice guy. And to be fair, his chocolate really is pretty good. Yeah, the 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 basic just chocolate one. Maybe take it because I don't I don't like those chocolates. Whoever makes them, man. And if it's just like just chocolate, milk chocolate, I hate that shit. But the crunch one. It's actually pretty good, and the other one, his uh, secret recipe, was actually pretty good too. But you know, they're just very expensive. The basic one, um, it wasn't the best. I hate those. I haven't best, tasted it. But they're just like expensive. That's the problem. With a trio bar, it's a dollar. Yeah, who's gonna pay nine bucks for an influencer chocolate bar? It's just very expensive. Best, I'm. They are made in Lebanon, which is good, and two of the three do taste pretty good. I would just never buy them because they're crazy expensive. Hmm. Uh, anyways, folks, that's it for the episode. Nice, short, and sweet. Uh, let me take a second to thank our brand new patrons for the week, folks. Uh, R.I.P. Kaki and Modern Life Monk. Thank you guys so much. R.I.P. Kaki. And R.I.P. Kaki. I'm dead. And the sentiment, uh, we we stand by it. And thank you to our God tier patrons: Rifat Fakih, Burgery, Elia Al Mujabir, Jessica, and Raj and Jack Sleeman. Uh, amazing superhero patrons like Bonnie, Najio, um, Muhammad Mansour, Tar Shalhoub, Joey To, Rami Garib. And blonde patrons like the Orient Express Discord server, Mustafa Zelzali, Joy Tasidis, Karl Aboud, JR Alin, and Marianne S. We love you guys. If you guys would like to support us, uh, consider joining our Patreon. Find a tier that's right for you. It makes all the difference. The show cannot exist without amazing patrons like you. So thank you very much. And as always, folks.